What's up gang? Thank you for dropping in to Crafts Hawaii again. I just thought I'm going to be shooting myself a practice session and uh, I'll let you in on my practice session as I'm trying to work on a, a $240 strategy. Actually, you know, we used to play Staying Alive. I used to play Staying Alive. I mean, I still do. But in this strategy, I'm just going to press three times and down instead of taking like, you know, Staying Alive strategies. We hit one number, we'll take that win plus the number and the sister number down. And so we're depressing as we're winning. In this strategy, I'm going to press instead of depress. I don't know what the table's doing, but if the table was bad and I'm in, you know, in a casino, I'm going to play staying alive and depress down. But today I'm just going to press up, take two, three hits and down. And when I say down, I mean not depressing down step by step. Okay. It's depressed all the way down to what I'm going to, what I'm going to be playing. So let's say it's a $10 table and this can be done also on a $15 table. So. When I depress down, I might be playing inside, maybe a cross, maybe the easy, um, just waiting for the next shooter, trying to see if I can make any money extra if the table runs, you know, running pretty well after I depress down. Because if you want to make good money, um, the best way to do it is if you pressing, then you'll make more money, right? So if you have like $60, 6 and 8 and then you hit instead of depress take the win and depress if you press it up and you hit that six and eight again and you got it at ninety dollars of course you're gonna make more money right so that's the whole idea about saying maybe you're on a good table everybody's rolling four five rolls or more but at least three then pressing it up would be a better option for you okay so um i will be playing 240 but I won't play 240 inside, I'll play 240 across. So for those of you who haven't played 240 across, because there's a, you know, a lot of ways to play $240, um, you can see what, how I play mine. Okay, so anyway, keep that in mind. Um, even if the table goes bad, I'm not changing the strategy. Uh, it's just because I, wanna, I want this video to be showing that, you, you know, if you're pressing, especially if it's on a good table, you need to press because if you cannot bet, you cannot win. So you need to be able to bet. Of course, you need the bankroll. And I understand this is a, you know, pretty big bet for a lot of people. So um, if you need to cut it down to whatever your bankroll is, that's possible too. Okay. I'm only going to be starting with uh, five hands. I'm going to play five hands of uh, two hundred and forty dollars each and we'll see where we stand at the end of five hands i mean if we got point sevens out pretty quickly then i'll play another five hands if the time permits uh if the hands go well then i'm gonna cut the video shorter due to the time constraints okay so we're gonna play five hands one hand at a time we'll see where we end up and then we'll see what we do after that if the time permits okay so i'll be right back at the table we'll see you here okay we're back at the table so as you can see i got five hands here i'm gonna rack all the wins on this other rack that's empty which has five hands also so from here i'll switch it over to the wins and we'll see what we have so we got 240 per hand i lay out my 240 like this all the way across okay because i'm not playing the easy where i will have you know money in the field and collecting on, on every one. Okay, so that's $240. Okay, so I'm going to try and set the dice a little bit and see where we go from here. Okay, dice out, we're not working. One, four, five. One, four, five. Okay, so we're looking for at least three hits. And we're going to press every one. If we can get three hits. That's what we're looking for, at least three hits. 
538 okay so that's 70 dollars so with 60 we get 70 right and this is what i'm talking about because we're going to press i'm going to just keep 10 dollars we could press it on the five and nine or on the four and ten but i'm just going to put it on the side for now so with 60 we win 70 but we press up to 90 so this is where i was talking about because you're pressing when you hit a six and eight now you can get 105 whereas if we were to play staying alive and go to 60 go down to 30 you know so and then you hit the six and eight you take less money back of course staying alive has its purposes which is when the table is running choppy you know very little hits in this case i don't know what the table is doing but for the purpose of the video i'm just saying the table is running okay and we're going to show the presses and why we do it four three seven maybe the table is not doing well so anyway we're just finding out now what the table is doing and we're gonna work it that way so in that case staying alive would have saved us some money but we're just gonna play it this way so first hand we only got ten dollars put it in that rack Okay, coming out again. Not working. Four two six. Table was uh, I don't know if it's choppy or not, but the first hand wasn't so great. So I'm gonna just take a one count right here. And sometimes I tell you to take a one count and I do that also when the table is choppy. Ace deuce. When the horn number comes and I'm taking a, a one count, horn number show, I still stick with the one count for another row. So we're still taking another one count. Five, three, eight. Okay, it's a point miss, but that's okay because if the dice doesn't give me three to four rolls, I would have pressed that anyway, like we did the first hand, and then get caught with a seven anyway. It's not like I take in the money, so. Six, five, yo. Because I am throwing a four, five, five, four set, when I see a six or a one, I know that that dice exploded. If it's on axis, I should never see a six or a one on any dice. Hard for Hard for it. So hard for it pays 50 for one. I'm just not going to be paying the VIG, so I don't have to get changed for ones. So it pays us 50 bucks for one. Okay, so I'm gonna press the five and nine up. Now sometimes you see me, or you might see me, take this four and 10 and shove it under the five and nine, and now I got 85 each. Okay, so that's one option that you can do. For right now, my for my purposes, since I'm not playing the easy, I'm gonna leave it there, go to 85. Okay, so actually that's our first hit, right? Four. One, four, five. So if I did take that four and 10 and shove it under the five and nine, would we'll add 85 pain 120 for one but in this case we got 85 and like I said I'm not dealing with ones right now so 
anyway I'll just get the change that's all right so we're taking $84 but now we're pressing Okay, I got a quarter. I'm just going to take that. I could press it some more, or I'll just pick a number and just say, well, I'm just going to make the eight hundred and twenty because we're going for three hits. I don't know which one going to hit, but we got some numbers that we're going to collect some good money. Not really. Can't even get three hits. If I didn't take the one count, we would have got it. But, you know, that's all hindsight. The thing is that you can see that you can make good money if you can get three hits with the pressing I'm gonna try change the set now we'll see what happens so now if we do see uh, That other hand, I think it was six one that we threw. That means both dice exploded, wasn't on axis. Dice out. Six five yo. And I'm playing not as the shooter. Okay, that's why I have no pass lines. Three, two, five. So, so far, I haven't seen any sevens come out on the come out. So, I'm going to take a chance of not taking a one count and see what happens. Five, one, six. So, right away, we win $70. I'm gonna press this up to ninety. So first hit six. One four five winner. So that pay fifty four one. I'm just gonna take it out of the winnings from the second rack. So like I said, we could shove this under the five and nine, get eighty five dollars. And sometimes I would do that. Uh, sometimes I won't, just depending. Like right now, we lost so many hands. I want to protect all the way across the board. So in just in case a 4 or 10 should show, we're still going to collect something. 617. That's going to come out lucky. So apparently, from what I see the table doing, is it's a bit choppy three two five back on the five
five four nine again I should have shoved it underneath but we did it five four nine okay that paid us 85 for one and at this point we're gonna take everything down not everything I'm sorry we're gonna depress And like I said, it's a $10 table, but I'm going to set it up at 66 I got to get some change, so let's just steal it from here. <laughs> so that was our third hit, that was the nine. a runner a deuce six three nine so that pays us twenty one There's options, you know, we can just press certain numbers, but in this case, we got 21, they gave a dollar, we're going to press every one up. I'm not marking the points after this or after my first three hits. Uh, that's all I wanted to, to do is mark my first three hits. Six, four, ten. Ace deuce, uh, horn numbers and numbers that I don't have because we're not playing the easy. Maybe I should have dropped into an easy instead and collect on every roll. Hard four, that's three numbers that I didn't collect, right? So what happens is that I feel like I'm waiting here for nothing let's jump into the field and let's see we got Thirty-five there, twenty-five here, and not enough. So let's just jump, pull this down to ten dollars. Make this thirty. Make this thirty. And we'll just hop the five for two dollars. So we'll just jump into the easy for right now since the dice, you know, two, three or four points that was non collectible for me. And maybe we can chase the dice out of the field numbers and back on the board. One, four, five. So we win 15, we lose 11, we made four dollars and replaces that.
and five was the point okay so new point coming out we're not working even though we're in the field we're not working even though we're hopping we're not working all those okay so we're looking for a new point come out point one five six okay now this and this is on and our place bet six and eight is working Four two six winner. Okay, so we win thirty five. We lose the field, so we give this back to the house. Lose the hop. This twenty five will come here. Okay. Again, we're not working the place beds or the fields. Five four nine point nine. Okay, so I was using the four five five four set, and I just changed to cross sixes six two six three. Seems to be working a little better. Maybe just when I say that, the dice will change again. <laughs> Who knows? Hard six. Okay, again, we win 35. Lose the field. With another quarter. We can put this on the nine now. Or you can actually take it or Instead, what I'm going to do with this this quarter, I think, is I'm going to get some change. So that's 20, 5, we'll press up the 6 and 8, take a dollar back. five okay so five pays now 35 again the field we lose goes back we got the quarter now the dice have seems to be going out here on the place bets I'm gonna take this back and let's see if the place bets now are back since I already went into the field a lot of times I think I go there, I'll chase it out. And it has come out now into place bets. Let's hope it stays here where I can collect. Hard six. Hey, we got 42. That pays 54 one. Okay, now because we already took our money back, like I said in the very beginning, the three hits, this is just icing on the cake. So I'm going to take the $50 win. Six four ten. <laughs> we don't have it. <laughs> now the dice knows we're not in the field. He's going back to the field. Six three nine winner. Okay, so we win. For thirty dollars, nine forty two dollars, thirty five forty two dollars. Okay, we're coming up 
on another hand aces both dice double pitched on that one Six two six three nine. Okay, point is nine again. Five one six. That's another fifty for one. So we're gonna press this up to uh, let's go to sixty six on both sides. Was at forty two, we press both sides, we take dollar back, we're at sixty six each. Three seven. Okay, so at any time you could have taken down more money if you wanted to. I already took back what I thought we needed and took a chance in taking it up uh, to a higher bet and better collect when the points hit. Okay, so let's see. This is what we made on this hand. One, two, well, not made, but came out with three, four, fifty. Four twenty-five. We never made hardly anything on these, so I'm just going to call it at four twenty-five on this third hand. Minus our two forty, right? So four twenty five. So let's set that here at four hundred. No, more than four hundred. I must have overhead too much. Four fifty, four seventy five. Uh, take four blacks. And one of the greens. Everything goes back to the house. Okay, fourth hand. Okay, coming out, sticking to the 6263 since there was the better set for now. Hit the chip, 437. It's a come out. One three four point four. Again, I'm gonna take a chance that uh, sevens have been shown right off the bat. So instead of taking a one count, I'm gonna work this one. Oh well, the dice heard me say that. I guess, huh? <laughs> You heard I'm not taking a one count for three seven. Well, sometimes you gotta be disciplined. Okay, last hand for the five hands. That's two forty. I got two forty here. Uh, 
off coming out. Second guessed myself on uh, not taking that one count and got caught. Well, I guess we better take that one count. My fault on that last hand that I didn't. I thought I would take a chance since the seven already came on that first row. But as you can see, it can come right back and bite you. Five one six winner. We were not working. Seems somehow the dice always knows. <laughs> People say dice have no ears. I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe they just feel vibrations and they know what's going on. Five one six right back. Still gonna take a one count. Three, two, five. Okay. Four, one, five. Fifty, four, one. So I'm going to take a chance this time, pull down that four. I'm oh, sorry, pull down that four right now and pull down the ten. Well, no matter what was going to happen, the dice has already turned. 527. Oh. Okay, so we lost all this. So we had five hands of 240. So if we had 10 hands, it would be 2400. So five hands would be 1200. So we got 475, 80, 85, 95, 97, 497 out of 1,200. So 497, $3 will be 5, 12, so we lost 7, so let's say we lost about 702, 703, something like that, $703. So what I'm going to do right here, I think, is I'm going to run another five hands continuing this uh, this roll. So I had, like I said, $577, $577, something like that. Anyway, I'll run another five hands uh, in another session. And I guess I forgot how much I had, but I'll look it up and I'll put it back out and we'll start another five hands in another session. Thanks for dropping by. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Those of you who are subscribers, thank you for your support. I appreciate it all the time. And please take care in these times of this COVID. You know, please stay safe and take care of you and your family. We'll see you again in the next video. Take care.